Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, calculations using significant figures. Uh, this is part two where we're going to focus on addition and subtraction. Uh, the rule when adding numbers that have significant figures or subtracting numbers that have significant figures is that you round to the most precise spot in the least precise number that you use. So what we mean by most precise spot is that's the numbers the farthest to the right on any number that is significant. So the 9 in 1.09, the 5 in 1.245, and the 6 in 18.6. Those are the most precise spots in those numbers. Now the least precise number is the one that has that digit the farthest to the left okay of those three numbers so the six is in the tenths place whereas the five was in the thousands and the nine was in the hundreds so the six is in the least is the least precise number any addition and subtraction using this sum of the number will result in an answer being rounded to the tenths place uh, as long as you use all three of these numbers so let's add these three numbers up if you take 1.09 Add it to 1.245, add it to 18.6, you get 20.935. Now, rounding that to the tenths place, it gives you 20.9. So, the correct number of significant digits, or the correct way to express that with significant digits, would be 20.9. Let's subtract the numbers 18.6 minus 1.09 minus 1.245. We uh, subtract these numbers, you get 16.265, which gives you 16.3 when you round it to the tenths place. Again, you're rounding to the most precise spot in the least precise number, which for these numbers turns out to be where the, the 6 is, which is the tenths place. It is not the number sig figs that is important. So the number sig figs is not important. It is the place of the most precise digit in the least precise number for addition and subtraction that is what determines where to round to in multiplication and division it's the number of digits here in addition and subtraction it is where the most precise digit in the least precise number is so let's do some practice in each of the following uh, sets of numbers we're going to first identify the digit that represents the most precise digit in each number. So in 2000, the 2 is significant, the three zeros are not significant, they're placeholders. So the 2 is the most precise number in that digit. Since the three zeros are not significant, they don't count. In 456, obviously the 6 is the most precise digit. In 420, the 2 is the most precise digit because the zero is again a placeholder and 12.1 obviously the one is the most precise digit so let's try this one more in 145 the five is the most precise digit in 2690 the nine is the most precise digit and in 1356 the sixth is the most precise digit Remember, the most precise digit is the farthest to the right significant digit you can find in the number. So now when we do some addition, what we want to do is we want to identify which of our numbers we're using is the least precise number. So when we add 2,000 to 420, you get 2,420, but 2,000 is the least precise number of those two numbers. So you're going to round to the most precise spot in that number, which is 2,000. And when you round uh, 2,420 to the 2,000, uh, to where the 2 is, which is in the thousands place, the answer is 2,000. So 145 plus 2,690 uh, gives us 2,835. But when we add, uh, when we round to the least precise, sorry, the most precise spot and the least precise number, we get 2,800, which could be expressed as 
times 10 to the third to keep the right number of significant figures. Uh, for subtraction, 456 minus 12.1 gives us 443.9, but if the most precise digit and the least precise num uh, number is the where the 6 is, so we're going to round to the 1's place, which means 443.9 becomes 444. And then finally, 2690 minus 13, uh, 1356 because it's 1334. But the 9 is the place where we're going to round to, the tens place. So we're going to make that 1330. Um, and that is the basics of adding.